Dylan, where are we? And what are we doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Cece. Please make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Just driving to my favourite place in the whole world which is my village, Magdingwane, uh, which is just outside Plum Tree. Unfortunately, this video is not going to be that long because um, as I was editing it, I noticed that I've actually lost most of my footage so I'm really disappointed because I wanted to show you guys the whole journey and um, if you haven't seen my previous videos where I'm driving to my one it I'll put them somewhere up here for you to watch but this time we had stopped in several places and I just wanted to show you guys the whole journey and I've lost most of the footage unfortunately so I'm actually blaming it on my on the internet service provider <laughs> because when I arrived I went straight to tell one and I bought the unlimited um, internet which was $90 for the whole month and I was hoping that as soon as I actually record the video I'll upload it straight away uh, but then I wasn't able to upload anything at all it was so 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 slow um, and I wasn't able to do anything with it so I kept transferring my videos to my external hard drive and somehow I lost most of the plum tree footage so now I'm thinking of installing Starlink because it means that I can just edit my videos and upload straight away which is really good so I'm just going to check if it's actually available um, especially in plum tree um, although I don't know how I feel about installing it in plum tree because that is my place where I actually um, have a digital detox but on the other hand it would be nice to have some video calls with my mom and everything <laughs> and also to upload my videos whilst I'm there so there's the Starlink Mini which is more compact and affordable version of the standard service so it's designed for a lower bandwidth so it means it's perfect for personal use for browsing for video calls for streaming um, and the speed is slightly lower than Starlink standard although obviously Starlink is still significantly faster than traditional satellite internet services so there's also Starlink standard which provides a higher speed internet connection with um, greater bandwidth so it's perfect for businesses for larger households uh, or any users that use you know high, that need high data requirements the standard also offers faster download and upload speeds which is better suited for tasks such as high definition video and um, for gaming for running multiple devices at the same time so this is really good especially for schools and for businesses so with the introduction of Starlink, I mean, what does this mean for Zimbabwean internet providers? <laughs> uh, so, you know, local providers will just have to up their game because um, Starlink is both a challenge and, and an opportunity. So while it may create competition, it could also encourage them to improve their services and expand their coverage in, you know, in other places, especially in remote areas. Guys, I'm really torn. Let me know what you think. So should I install Starlink in my, in my village? Because one of the main reasons why I really love going there is just to switch off from technology and like reconnect with nature and, you know, installing this internet service can actually tempt me <laughs> to stay plugged in and make it make it harder for me to disconnect and fully enjoy the peace and quiet of rural life and another thing it could interrupt the local lifestyle so having um, high speed internet might change the dynamic of um, village life because obviously if I install it I'm going to give um, you know the people around me access to the internet um, so there could be a shift towards a more online engagement rather than you know community interactions which could detract from the traditional way of life in you know in my village 
but I also think it would be good for the kids because they can actually study, you know, use the internet to do some research and stuff like that. So, oh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, because, you know, having easier access to the internet might make it difficult for me as an adult to take a com to have a complete digital detox. Even with the best intentions, it's easy to find yourself distracted by emails, by social media and other online activities. Um, especially when your goal is switching off. So imagine what it's like for children. They'll all be excited to get online and stuff. Even if, you know, I'm giving them access so that they can study. Um, it's, it's, there's a danger of becoming too dependent on technology. So while Starlink offers a huge benefit in terms of connectivity and opportunity, um, it's, I would need to balance the advantages uh, with my personal desire to stay unplugged and reconnect with nature, um, especially when I'm there. Um, so if I need to install Starlink, I'll always have to set boundaries such as, you know, scheduled internet uh, and kind of like have internet free days or specific times to go online. Anyway, so much for that. So we are just grabbing some food and then heading straight to Plum Tree. And then from Plum Tree, we are going to my Pringwane, my favorite place in the whole world. I always feel at peace when I'm there. And ideally, I like to spend most of my time there.
Dylan, where are we? And what are we doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification and see you on the next one